themselves on the game plan? Well, you know, I think, you know, for starters today, I think we've got to start with, you know, with, with uh, the, the facility and the ending. And uh, I thought it was, you know, emotional for, uh, for a lot of people that have really been supportive of our baseball program for so many years. And it was great to have the Sewell family out raising, uh, lowering the, the last flag. And, and I know for me personally, been here for a lot of years, uh, you know, couldn't uh, be more excited about the new facility coming, but also very emotional today with all the history and everything that's come through. Uh, you know, the ball game today, I thought it was really important for our team for a lot of reasons to, to get this win. One is the, the last game here, and I thought that was important to get the win. And, uh, some, you know, I had some key guys today. Justin Campaign gave us a terrific start. I thought the bullpen was really good with Jay Shaw and then Thomas Burroughs in the back end. And really, you know, we were able to play a little long ball. Had, you know, Mikey hits the first pitch of the game out of the park. Uh, you know, Ben delivers one again later. So uh, with that, you know, good team effort today and uh, a good win against a really good Mississippi State team that played uh, really well all weekend. Mitch, how important do you think it was? I mean, it's, I know it's one win out of 55, 56 games, but uh, in terms of what you're trying to do next week and beyond there. Yeah, I think it was really important, to be quite honest with you. I mean, for a lot of reasons, I think that uh, – you know, we needed a win. We've been on uh, certainly a slide here the last three weeks or so, and uh, it, you know, and, and to, to win against a quality opponent and gives guys confidence. It was a close game, and those always build some confidence. But you know, you want momentum going into to Hoover on Tuesday, and a game like this can certainly do that for you. And uh, yeah, but yeah, there was a lot of aspects that I, I thought was really big for today to get the win, and our guys were able to pull through and get that done. Got a favorite memory of this ballpark? You know, I mean, the, the one that really sticks out is 1997. We had a, a walk-off homer against Southern Cal. Uh, Matt Frick in the 10th inning walks it off to send us to Omaha. And, uh, you know, that, that's one of, of so many. You know, I've, I've been a part of the program for a long time and uh, obviously had great runs, you know, in the 90s that uh, we were going to Omaha. And, and uh you know, so many walk-off wins and so many great pitching performances, all those things that add up. You know, I was telling Chris Stewart earlier, I was speaking to the team yesterday and, you know, got emotional just thinking, you know, as that's going through your head and you're playing a lot of those things back. And obviously, Dax and Andy and, and so many people have been a part of it. And it was great to see alumni this weekend. But a lot of history here and a lot of history in, in our baseball program. Are you looking, looking forward, though, to, to seeing what it's going to be like when you guys take the field in 2015? We, we are. I mean, it's, uh, you know, I think, you know, next year, uh, you know, will we'll be some challenges. Obviously, been on the road, but 2016, coming into a brand new venue, which was going to be one of the uh, absolute nicest ballparks in the country, uh, is really exciting for all of us, and I think our, our players as well. And uh, I think it can really take our baseball program to another level. And uh, from a recruiting aspect, and also with it being so fan friendly, I think that uh, it's going to be a great opportunity for some new fans to come out and to where we can really generate a lot of interest in our program. Mitch, have you decided at this point would it be Nick going on Tuesday or you so uh, We're, we're going to make that decision tomorrow. Obviously, he's one of the guys in line right now that uh, is, is a fresh arm ready to go. and. And, uh, you know, we're going to bullet pin him here tonight. And, uh, but we'll, we'll make that decision, you know, Monday. And, uh, but he's certainly one of the guys that's a strong possibility to get that start.